Hello everyone. Today my presentation topic on whale optimization. Uh, I am Shorup Devnath and my group members are Rana and Tahmit. Uh, what I am going to talk about is today is humpback whale attacking strategy, mathematical model, and the example. So before uh, studying about the whale optimization algorithm, let's discuss about what are the types of whale. At first. The first one is killer, second one is finback, and the third one is humpback, fourth one is blue whales, and the fifth one is minke. So, <coughs> what are the facts about whales? The first one is they never sleep, live alone or in a group. They may can live in a uh, group. Killer whales can live in a family, and they diet with krills and fish. Um, let's discuss about humpback whale. So, uh, from the pictures we can see that humpback whale length is 11 five, 5 to 15 meters and the weight is around 25 to 30 tons. This algorithm is inspired by the hum hunting technique of the humpback whales. Because of the hunting technique, so let's discuss about the attacking strategy of the <coughs> whales. At first, uh, the whale will search for a random prey and when it will find that it will try to make a spiral shape around the prey and when it will finally able to um, make the shape around the prey then it will try to create a bubble of strings and finally it will attack on the prey so we can use it for our uh, whale optimization algorithm technique so the mathematical model here first we need to search for the prey and we need to encircle the prey and finally we have to attack on that prey. So for searching on the prey the agent A is used to search for the prey. Okay. So if our agent is greater than one then new individual is far away. So the mathematical model behind this phase is uh, as we can see C is equal to 2 into R where R is the random variables and T is the maximum iterations <coughs> and D is the distance and the second one at the second phase we need to encircle the prey for encircle the prey uh, we uh, there are uh, two equations where you can see that uh, X star is the base solution obtained and where X is the current position of that uh, uh, well and D is the distance A is the agent and T is the um, iteration number of the <coughs> algorithm and finally we have to bubble net attacking method and where we can see if our agent is uh, less than one then that is the our current optimal solution we need to approach on that so here is a examples of our whole optimization algorithm let's say our let's populate the size of n is equal to 5 here there are the five values and then we need to calculate the fitness value of that uh, generated population using this fitness function and after uh, calculating the fitness function uh, fitness value we get that for x uh, for serial number one we got 16 second one is 1.49 third one is 2.17 fourth one is 1.41 fifth one is 2.40 so among comparing them we can say that in the fourth row or the 1.4192 is the best one uh, because it has the less number among them so it will use can our reference below so that was my topic thank you